The sine waveform has horizontal characteristics as well and we'll see how the frequency which has units of Hertz which is basically cycles per second and period are related. The frequency is related by 1 over T where T is the period which I'll show you what that means and then we have another expression which is can be derived from the first one where T the period equals 1 over F. So here we have two cycles in one second of time and here in this chart we have four cycles in one second. We define as the period when it completes one full cycle. So if I start here it then repeats at this point. You can take a look at the peak here and the peak here and it should be the same period. For the period, again, this is we have four cycles and one cycle is shown here, hence the period of this cycle is T. As an example, again, this is for one second for each case. So T is equal, since we have two cycles in one second, this is 2 hertz. So 1 over 2 hertz leads to 0 0.5 seconds. On the right side, T is equal to 1 over 4 hertz since we have 4 cycles over 1 second. So 1 over 4 hertz leads to 0 0.25 seconds. Take a look at the relationship between degrees and radians. We're going to use the unit circle. And we know that one cycle encompasses two pi radians for a unit circle since the circumference of this unit circle is two pi. Also, we know for this one cycle, this red dot traverses 360 degrees as well. Hence, we can define the frequency of cycles per second with another derived frequency relationship by multiplying f by 2 pi which yields radians per second since we're multiplying this by 2 pi radians. We define 2 pi f as omega which we call the radian frequency. So let's look at this in a different perspective from this graph and how we relate radians and degrees. Again we can have a radian frequency as equal to 2 pi f where f is the frequency. We know that 2 pi is 360 degrees for one cycle so at the end of this cycle we can label this as 2 pi and just below that we can just equivalently put 360 degrees as well. When you divide by 2 on both sides that yields pi is equal to 180 and hence that's half a cycle, so half a cycle corresponds to pi as well as 180. Now half of this half a cycle leads to a quarter of a cycle and that leads to pi over 2 or 90 degrees. And then if you take the average between these two points or just multiply this by 3, then we have 3 pi divided by 2 which yields 270 degrees. Hopefully this graph illustrates the relationship between degrees and radians. Again, one period is equivalent to 2 pi radians or 360 degrees.